Hey guys, it's Olivia, and today I'll be binding a walnut, four-aught, Lutz spruce top guitar with maple binding. It also has a side miter purfling and top and back purfling. The first step is to tack in the miter joint at the tail strip with side purfling. Makes it so it's a seamless flow between the side and the tail strip purfling. Once this is completed, you need to prepare the binding and other purflings for the guitar. You pre-bend the maple for the binding, and then you tack in the top purfling. Once that's through, you start to glue in the binding and purfling. This involves using tape as a clamp to hold it in the channel. At the back of the guitar, both the top and bottom joints need to be seamless because they're visible. This involves a lot of micro sanding away material so that they fit perfectly together at a butt joint. You have to make sure that it's a nice 90 degree angle too so that there aren't any gaps sideways as well as at the top and all the purflings and the binding have to come together seamlessly. Once I'm pretty content with the fit, I'll put a bead of glue into the channel and use a paper towel to squeeze out all the excess, and then I'll start clamping it down with the tape. When I'm clamping down with the tape, I always start by pulling from the top to the bottom and then I'll go back through and pull the tape from the bottom to the top. This gives equal pressure up and down on the binding into the channel. Also the tape sometimes comes off because it does not like sticking the glue. And once all the gaps are covered, it's done and it's mummified and you wait. After letting it sit for 24 hours, I demummify it. Just remove all the tape carefully so you don't pull up any of the grain with the tape. And I slowly check to make sure that there aren't any gaps within the binding and the purfling channels. This is when the guitar really comes to life and you can start to see how the binding is gonna work with the woods. After that, I use a wood scraper and a flat block to scrape away the little bit of binding sticking out to make it flush with the sides and the top. This can be a workout because you're jumping back and forth to get all the right angles with the scraper and the flat block. And then it's done with its initial sanding and scrape out and it's ready to be fit and finished. This maple binding looks really nice on the walnut because it's a nice contrast of the dark to light and they both have some crazy flame that work really well together. And yeah, really happy and excited to see this go into finish. It's gonna be a beautiful guitar.